Back show and rodeo scholarship fun. And uh, what do we have here? Hey, it's the best DoorDash delivery in <laughs> town right now, making good on his promise of I... bringing back food from the event. Boy, we can smell it from the parking lot. Look I'm a man of my word. You are the best friend I've got and, in this whole studio. <laughs> <laughs> so, look at this. I have <sighs> look at this. ribs, brisket, and I have fried ribs I'd for never you guys heard to try. That. Yeah, yeah I never tried that before, but oh, I yeah. took a bite. I stabbed it's a bite earlier. Nice. Now, this is hours later, so, so nice. it's not as warm and, you know, Equally dried delicious. out a little bit. But Is I don't great? think you're going to have a problem with Nothing it. Nothing <laughs> a microwave is going to object to at all. Oh, Look man. At that. Enjoy it. Uh, so while you guys get a nibble on that, here, I'll go handle the weather forecast. Huh? Hey, listen, big day tomorrow. If you want to head out there, maybe uh, get your hands on some barbecue or the, the carnival rides that are out there, some, uh, some really good live music. Well, let's talk about that forecast, and it really looks good. Lots of sunshine, a little cool, chilly in the morning, but notice by the afternoon, it's in the 60s, and if you're going to be out during the evening after sunset, you know, it's going to be chilly. In fact, it's 47 degrees at 11 o'clock. And, you know, it's going to be a little windy at times, too. All right, so a good day tomorrow to enjoy. All right, let's take a look at the lake levels here. After all that rain, I must tell you now, Canyon Lake is up almost about five inches. So that was really nice to see. It's now at 60.3% full. Medina Lake is, you know, barely, barely maybe a half inch. Uh, lake Amistad has actually dropped, and Choke Canyon now is holding steady. And we look at the river levels here above Canyon Lake, you know, it has dropped there in Spring Branch. It was right around 75 to 85 cubic feet per second, which is pretty close to normal this time of the year. Now it's down to 45. And you see upriver, you know, it didn't get as much rain at the headwaters there of the river. So need to get back into that next batch of rain to kind of keep the momentum going here. And the Medina River is uh, still running a little bit lower than where it should be here. So that too needs a lot more work. Aquifer level, it's starting to level off on its climb, 646.8. But let's go back to the 19th. That was the level before the rain began. And you can see that was a real big climb. My goodness, there, we saw a significant rise and that aquifer level. So that was really a blessing for our area. We needed that water. Out there tonight, after all the rain, you know, I'm gonna keep an eye out here for a few hours for a little fog potential. You see some low cloud cover just above the, the buildings here in downtown San Antonio. So there's a little fog trying to form. I don't think it's gonna be a real big issue for you though in the morning because the wind is gonna be kicking up behind a frontal boundary. So we'll get gusts 20 to 30 miles an hour to get your Saturday started. That obviously will just sweep out any kind of fog that's trying to form. And it stays as a breezy day through the day on your Saturday. So here it is, 49 in the morning, a little windy at times, 64 will be the high temperature. Great weekend to get the car or the truck washed after all that rainfall. Got a green light here until next Thursday, we'll put a caution flag out. That's our next pattern change that's ahead. So this area of low pressure will move aside and behind it, a lot of sinking air, dry air and that effectively will do it here for a number of days on the rain chance. It's just going to be sunshine through the course of the weekend. Pattern change ahead. The next one was well, that low moves away. We see another upper level trough across Mexico. This is really not the best position for a good rain chance some cloud cover, but there you see going in late week into the following weekend, another powerful jet ramming right into Texas. So that'll start to transport another rain chance into our area. Six to 10 day outlook is above normal, covering the first to the fifth of February. All right, so here's your seven day forecast. Enjoy your weekend sunshine, 60s to around 70 the first half of next week. And you see that little rain chance coming in late next week. Out west, 68 to 70 over your weekend. The rain chance coming back late next week. Hill Country, 60s over the weekend, some cold mornings, the rain chance later next week, and you'll see that rain chance in our eastern zone again late next week.